let's make some balls. Alright guys, how's it going? So this is a very quick and basic tutorial to be honest. Today I'm going to cover meta balls and I'm going to cover particles and we're going to use the flocking system. Nice and easy to be honest and we're going to quickly kick this off by pressing shift and A and we'll drop down a UV sphere. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I need to generate particles. So I'll come to the particle settings, I'll hit the plus icon and I have way too many particles at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the number from 1000 down to maybe something like 30, that should be fine. The frame start I'll leave in 1 and I'll put the end frame to 1 as well. And that means everything will essentially start on frame 1. When it comes to the lifetime, that's how many frames the particles will essentially last. So 50 is a bit short, maybe make it 250, that should be cool. Let's go back, we'll hit play, see what we get. Okay, so our physics is essentially acting in the scene. So I'm going to change the physics type from Newton to Boyd's. So if I actually come down to physics, I can change this to Boyd's and it'll now act like a flocking system. So I'll go back, I'll hit play. And you'll notice everything's kind of contracting into each other, and I don't necessarily want that. The flocking's essentially doing what it's meant to do, is flocking in together. But we can play around with some of these settings. Now, air personal space, if I spank this up to maybe something like 5, this will give the particles a little bit more space to play around with, they'll kind of interact slightly different, it looks pretty cool, and that's kind of an effect that I'm looking for to be honest. Now, I'll go through some of these other options just to kind of give you an idea. Maximum airspeed is how fast that they travel, minimum airspeed, pretty much self-explanatory. And you can change the things like acceleration, you can make them ramp up in terms of speed. Now, because we've changed this to a flocking system, we can make them essentially battle together. We can give the particles a health limit, we can change things like the strength, the aggression. So we'll maybe put the aggression up and let's make these particles a little bit more aggressive. You can see here they're just a little bit faster when they're going to attack their opponent. Now, again, these options are pretty cool. You have things like banking and pitch. You can go into relations, so you can start adding things like a goal and you can make the particles follow each other. I have made a tutorial about this before, but we'll leave it pretty simple. But what you probably could do is you could add in something like a fight system. We'll scrub this back. Now, the particles will essentially fight a little bit more. Play around with the particle settings. Sometimes you'll get horrible results or sometimes you just have that kind of Goldilocks zone and everything looks cool. So what I essentially want to do is I want to change these particles into a meta ball. So I'm going to press shift and A and I'm going to add in a meta ball to the scene. So we'll just add in a ball and you'll notice that it's slightly bigger than the UV sphere which comes in handy. Now I'm going to come to the meta ball settings and I'm going to put the viewport resolution down just so I get a little bit more accurate representation. When it comes to the render I'm going to put that right down because I want as smooth meta balls as possible. Hey, hey we always need smooth balls, do we not? We'll keep the threshold at 0 0.6, that's pretty decent to be honest. I'll select the UV sphere, I'll then come back to the particle settings, and what I'll do here is I'll go all the way down to where it says render, let me just bring these up, and I'm going to change it from a halo to a meta ball. And we'll use the meta ball that we're using here, so I'll go to object, instance object, and I'll instance a meta ball. And they're pretty small to be honest, I've got small balls, so we need to make these slightly bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a scale up, we get something like this, that's pretty cool quite like that effect and I'm going to put the scale randomness up a little bit and you can see here the way that it actually kind of branches out from the meta ball but I'm not too happy I don't like the way that they're actually kind of flying away from the source of the object so I'm actually going to come back up to the movement in terms of the physics and I'm going to change the air personal space down a little bit so they just stay a little bit more compact I'm going to go all the way back and you can see here I'm getting these nice results maybe put it up a little bit now one thing that we really should do is bake the dynamics or bake the cache. So what I'll do is I'll come up to cache and I'll just bake all the dynamics because everything's there. And this is us pretty much set up. But because I've baked the dynamics I can kind of play around with some of these settings a little bit more when it comes to the render. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back. I quite like that scale to be honest but generally what you can do is you can right click on the scale and set a keyframe. Go to frame 50 perhaps and then we can put the scale up a little bit and we can keyframe this as well. Right click, insert keyframe and we now have something like this. How cool is that? We'll then select the meta ball, we'll add in a quick material. Now I'm not going to be too precise when it comes to this but what I will do is I'll put up the subsurfacing. I'll quickly jump into the viewport now. I have an HDRI acting as the environment background and I'm just going to quickly tweak the subsurface colour and I'll make it a kind of orange, something like this. Maybe put the subsurface up a little bit 
and I'll put the specular up and I'll put the roughness down and I get this really nice kind of reflective thing. Now obviously I need some sort of background so what I'll do is I'll just quickly add in a plane. I'll just move it to somewhere like here. I'll quickly rotate it. I'll scale it up. Yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. I'll scale it up a little bit more. And then I'll just pick where I want to put my camera. So maybe somewhere like here. That should be cool. I'll hit Control, Alt and Zero. That'll bring in the camera. And what I'll do is I'll scale this plane right back up. I'll give it a quick material and I'll kind of give it a complementary colour, so something like a blue would be nice, or kind of turquoise, that's pretty cool. And then I can play around with some of the render settings, I can add things like bloom, and then that's me, I'm pretty much ready to rock and roll. And we get this really nice organic render. Do me a favour guys, please like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me in Gumroad, follow me on TikTok now, Ugh, my kids are going crazy. Anyway, take care.